One of the things we take for granted in America is the Bill of Rights and especially freedom of speech and press. That means all forms of speech, such as telephone, telegraph, television, internet, etc. While we have the Bill of Rights, most countries do not have anything like it. Those that do are phony. Saying in one sentence that the citizen has the right and then in the next taking the right away if the government deems it necessary. The United Nations is guilty of this full rendering of citizens' rights. We are witnessing the same gradual elimination of these rights right here in America. These rights are defined in our basic documents, but in practice the government in league with certain media companies are censoring speech. Poland, being a so-called free country, is a perfect example of saying one thing but doing another. Supposedly, Poland shook off its communist rule in 1989 and is now a free country. However, too many vestiges of communism are still on the books in Poland. For instance, the communist law that forbade more than four people gathering without government approval has changed. That law is still on the books. Several people in Poland have been, who've been directly affected by this law have told me this personally. This law is largely ignored, but the law is still there just in case the government wants to use it. Another example of a communist law was the agreement made between the Catholic and Lutheran churches and the government. In order for the churches to remain open, the leaders of the churches agreed to stay out of politics. That meant not criticizing the communist government or its leaders. Many of these laws still remain in force in Poland. For instance, a citizen of Poland is not allowed to criticize the president of Poland or the established churches. To do so means fines, jail time, etc. Pastor Paweł Hojecki is currently dealing with this very charge. He is the leader of the Against the Tide television and movement a growing evangelical patriotic organization. It started with one man, Pastor Hojeki, and today serves as a platform for many Poles of influence. Because of his efforts, the Polish people are being educated as to the problems of globalism and how it involves Poland. It is a growing movement against globalism and the remnants of communism that are still a part of Polish law and government. When communism ceased to rule in Poland, an, act an actress came on TV and announced that beginning tomorrow, the Communist Party would no longer rule. No uprising, no revolution. The communists supposedly simply capitulated without any push in that direction. The next day, the same police remained in place. The government bureaucrats stayed at their desks. The communist teachers stayed the course. The communist judges remained over the courts, etc. In other words, the only thing that changed was the names on the placards of the office doors. Indeed, knowledgeable anti-communists in Poland have stated to me that most of the so-called conservative leaders in Poland are former Soviet agents. But back to Pastor Hujeki, since he criticized the president of Poland and the Catholic role in what is happening in Europe, he has been put on trial and found guilty of violating the speech laws of Poland. He was supposed to have been sentenced to eight months of community service along with a large fine, but they delayed the procedure, thus stringing out the problem and costing him more and more in legal fees. The prosecutors have even suggested to the Polish court that all of the media equipment be confiscated so that the television station run by Pastor Hujeki can never broadcast again. This is free speech in Poland. The harassing of Pastor Hujeki doesn't stop at his current charges. Those working against him are even slandering his efforts to help orphans from the Ukraine instead of applauding him as a humanitarian. This is one example of a country in the European Union and a member of NATO. We cannot rely on such so-called allies if they do not put into practice the values we hold so dear. And it can get to this extent rapidly if we do not stand up to the attempt by both Democrats and Republicans to silence 
true anti-communists and anti-globalists. Tell the story of Pastor Pavel Hojeki as an example of what can happen if those you are trying to recruit do not get involved now while there is still time.